Today is one of my favorite days because my good friend and the true color expert, Maria Killam, has sent me her Sherwin-Williams Foundation Collection of Neutral and Whites. These are her large paint boards. If you know me, you know I use these in a ton of videos and with my clients. So we're going to be doing a little unboxing today and seeing all of the fabulous colors that are in Maria's collection. But first, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the bell, and you'll be notified every time I publish a new video. Here we go. Now, the first thing you get when you open up Maria Killam's color boards is a how-to. So basically, how do you use these color boards? If you haven't taken her amazing in-person color course, then you're definitely going to need to read this through. And uh, it just shows you how to use the boards, how to prop them up, how to look at them with samples. And Maria's also thrown in the system for specifying color on her brand new color wheel. So you get one of these for free with the purchase of any of her color boards. All right, here we go. So yes, the color wheel, the instructions, and now for the really light stuff. Let's get this unboxing party. So when you're going to get your color boards, you're going to notice that in between each color, Maria places a piece of tissue. If you haven't already seen, I've got two other unboxing videos that you may want to go and take a look at of a couple of her other collections from Benjamin Moore. So as I open up this set, we're starting with a lot of like the beiges, the beige colors, Here we've got sand dollar, obviously all Sherwin Williams. And then what Maria also does with them is she will tell you what the actual undertone is on the board itself. So here it says this is the pink or beige, this is more of a pink beige, uh, you've got different colors, different undertones obviously. So it just makes it a lot more helpful when you can see those quickly to hand, especially if you're a designer and you're with your clients. A lot of the creams, Ray's now calling the green beige complex creams. This one here is Shoji white. And again, just beautiful, we're seeing a lot with the trends. But if you don't want to go too white, then some of these complex creams are going to be good for a your project. All right, so here's one of the most popular colors right now, agreeable gray. Sherwin Williams is a green gray. It's a beautiful color that I love to spec for clients. Ooh, now this one's nice, Skyline Steel. Skyline Steel is a green gray. And remember, I don't use a lot of Sherwin Williams colors, but I will now that I have my large color boards. One of the things that Maria always does in her courses too, is she's always comparing. So you've got analytical gray there, and you've got Skyline Steel, and you can see that they're both a green gray, but the analytical gray is a lot greener. So once you start comparing, if your client says, well, this feels a little too green to me, then you could pull out that one and say, well, see, it's not as green as the analytical gray, and then they go, oh yeah. Uh, one of the most popular colors, and I have a video on sea salt. If you haven't seen it already, this is a blue green by Sherwin Williams, and uh, it's just a beautiful color. Great for like a bath, spa, laundry room, anywhere really. It's just so pretty. So another thing that we're seeing in color trends right now is more beiges. So Maria does have a few beiges in here. She's calling them taupe. So we've got this one here, which is realistic. Oh, sorry, realist beige. We've also got balanced beige. So as much as you may think that it's just the gray trend right now, beige is coming back, my friends. And the other thing I love about having the large color boards is that when you get whites, like this extra white and the ceiling bright white, is that there are differences between them. Even if it's just very slight differences, you can see that this one looks more of a blue right than the extra white, which is also a blue white. So again, when we compare, we can see that. And when we have large color boards, you can absolutely see it 
much easier. Make sure we get the right color the first time. So there we go. Here's all of the colors. Now I'm going to go and put them up on my wall so we can look at them all together. Come with me. If you're interested in these shelves, because I get a lot of people asking, look at the links below. They're from Amazon and you can get them and they're a great addition to my home studio and just a perfect place to hold on with my boards. There we go. you have the full Sherwin Williams foundation collection from my good friend Maria Killam. So make sure you check in the description below where there are links where you can get your own color boards. And like I said, I use these all the time in my business and they've just been one of the greatest investments for my interior design business uh, for both myself to have and to take with clients. So I'm Claire Jeffert. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing of Maria Sherwin Williams foundation collection and I'll see you next time. Bye.